Hello, boys, babes, and all of you beans in between. Welcome back. Guess what? This house is kind of done. I say kind of lightly. Um, oh, ow. Okay. It's got the shape. It's got its roofs. The roofs need some love, but it needs windows. And I want to start doing that real quick. But big thing about this is I never really worked out flooring in here. So I have a couple of ideas I want to try with the flooring, but unfortunately it's going to be a little wonky. So let's grab some materials and look at that. Um, the first couple of ideas I had with it consist of, I already have spruce in my inventory, um, was I was going to take it at different levels. And so that it's a bunch of different odd levels and like clearly it's an old house. And so you climb to different floors using ladders and you can get around in some very peculiar manners. So, like, instead of there being a floor that goes all the way across here, the next floor would start up here. And so, we would need some scaffolding to get us up there real quick. But we'd have a ladder or something right here that makes it so people can climb up and down. And so, like, then underneath this area, they'd be able to hang, like, a chandelier for a dining room or something. So, if we were to take it out like this and make it look a little bit better so that we have some more walking space and living space for whoever's in this cabin... Not entirely sure who they are, but they're in here, they're living here, and they're doing something. Um, but that would give us this opportunity to do something like this and help us work out what kind of windows we put up here versus what kind of windows would be on that next level just down there where there's not an actual floor. And so it's just an open, higher level of lighting. So breaking that down, we also have this section, which runs right into this. So there is the option of we just adapt this so that we can still put people or space in here, break those out, replace it with stairs or something, and so that's a functional space to work in. But there's also just the option of leaving it with the wall here so that they have an area that's just upper and higher. But I think we start with punch a hole there. That's one in, then punch a hole here. That's one in. Gives us some nice open light and then we'll do something tall up there because this is an even wall we can do a two wide and down i think would be a good answer let's try it out oh not under the torch but i think if we were to take something here up to there and then back down to here um, not like that i don't like where that sits with that and then break that one I think, I think that looks quite good from in here. Let's see what it looks like outside. I'm gonna need that and away we go. I think that's a good fit. We're definitely gonna have to work in some more windows, but that's the idea, that's the concept. This is what it looks like because I didn't show you last episode. But real quick though, this is once again the campgrounds. We haven't done anything else out here since last episode besides finish up the roof on that. But I have had a couple of really cool ideas and I did some exploring. Um, I found out that underneath here are these massive, and I mean massive, lush caves. We will absolutely find a way to incorporate into either classes or someone's area or something that it's just you go down and visit because it's like an old um, tradition. But I absolutely love how this is coming, but we're not going to be spending too much time over here because I want to get more work done on my village city over by Spawn. So, let's get ourselves out of here. I'm going to head over there and we're going to discuss the ideas and topics that we're going to work on over there. So, I'll see y'all there in just a second. Alrighty, we are over here and I've gotten some copper laid out so it'll start to oxidize. Clearly, some of it's already doing that and some of it did it within the time that I had got it all down. And, and on the way here, we did some resource gathering because I had an idea for one of the designs. Specifically, to include, where is it? I put it in one of these. Blackstone and it's the rest of it's in here. Blackstone and some of the basalt because polished basalt has a very nice texture that resembles that of both wood and of deep slate. So like the color scheme works quite well and I really want to use it for the basing of some of the like not so nice a little bit more dirty looking houses such as the Fisher Shack that's gonna be over here. So, instead of it being mostly brick, it's going to be basalt and wood to make it more shack-like, more a little older, less recently renovated, like this area. So, 
we're gonna get that started in addition to I'm gonna go get those houses over there built as quickly as I can and we're gonna do some quick replay mods for that so that you guys can see that happen real quick so I'm gonna get these designs worked out some terraforming done because I did a little bit before I brought you guys in but outside of those we're gonna get that work underway so we've cleared out this some more we got a little bit more cleaning up to do I think we're gonna lower this hill right here a touch more but we're gonna get those guys done and we're gonna get this little hut over here built and then I will see what else we can get done today. before I kept going on this because it's kind of cool so far. I definitely did not think it would go this direction when I started it, but it's much more well, like, it's well-designed, rebuilt kind of house. So I think it's definitely looking in the direction of being a odd mix of modern to redesign an old fisher house. So the concept here is you have the area where you drag your fish up to be processed, cleaned, gutted, then you can like go out here and make it so the gate opens and you have this space to also work out here but then you can come up inside the house in addition to this section and i think i'm going to turn this section into a stairway too so that you can just have a huge stairway that loops you around up to the top level this level up here is just going to be an attic so i think for this to work out for us i need to punch this stuff out get us some more of these We'll definitely need more, but I think this will sit just fine to put us up here so that we can get in real nice and easy and that we can just continue upward just like I think one or two more blocks this way and then we'll just put the roof on and the roof design I'll figure out momentarily. But I wanted to share that with you guys before I continued in addition to the fact that I hit stop recording on my replay mod right as I walked through that door and there was a creeper standing there which scared me half to death, but luckily I did not die to it or it didn't explode either so the house is fine but i love the way that this um basalt came out it looks super super good i think it is a better touch than just the black stone it makes it look like this was an older house that was renovated and worked out to do itself a little bit more of a old style and i think we're also going to move this door over so that you can get in the house in, in and out of the house right here and then put some sort of stall here so people can come over here and buy fish or sell fish. And so it's some sort of like markety area. So it's got a functioning market system here. So I'm gonna keep working on this. Gotta go punch down some more spruce trees because I have eaten through five stacks of spruce and I need more. So I'm gonna go get that done and I'm gonna finish this build and we'll jump over on those once we're done with a hello there. <laughs> once we're done with this one. <laughs> This wrapped up looks super super cute I think the roofs are absolutely adorable 
it definitely gives more of a cottagey vibe than I originally intended, but I think it looks quite cute, obviously windows, but it definitely serves its purpose. Now, the problem I'm running into is over here on this side, when we get over here, these um, fishing style cabin hut things I wanna make, I'm not sure what color I wanna go for. So I'm going through a couple options. One, we can definitely go back towards those more darker neutral tones that I have been doing, or we can go with more fun, colorful, <laughs> colors like the ones over here. Mind you, these are pretty dull, but that one way over there is much more colorful. I'm definitely leaning towards using another green, at least for one of them, and then possibly using white again, which is that pinky tone right there. So I think, I think we're gonna try with that, but I'm also fully ready to change it out if I get it built and I don't like it. So let's see what I come up with. Hey there, so editing Oni slash voiceover Oni. We were working on this and I absolutely love how they came out. There are some small tweaks, obviously, that I think I would make on the next ones I build, because I do want to put some more of these huts around, such as on that little island right there with a rickety little bridge getting over and on that little rock piece over there. I definitely think I like the touch of color this all brings to the entire area, and I think overall it brings a lot of fun design, and I really liked these weird little accent walls I put in. You'll see the other one in just a second, but I really like how they're coming out, and I think that it's super, super fun, but... I want your opinion. Are these colors good? Should I do other colors? Should I include more bright colors in this section? While I do want it to contrast and make the other part of the city village thing look more dreary and make this section look a little bit more alive while it is run down, what, what, what do you think? Because I do want to like pull in some grays and have some that are like transitioning over to the brighter side. But I'm not sure how to do it. So, if you got any advice, let me know. I'd love to hear it. But let's finish this roof. Alrighty. So, we have these cute little house hut thing mababadoos over here. And I think that they look super, super cute. Obviously, they need detailing, interiors, the stuff like that. But I think the easy step is throwing in some windows so that we don't have to worry about that. Let's jump upstairs and see if we can throw in some up here. These can have glass panes because they are flat. And I think that already makes this feel a little bit more put together. But I want to know what y'all think about these. I think they're super cute. Obviously, details are a necessity for these. They are not going to look quite right unless they get some detailing done on them. But I like how it looks. I like, like, you can look over there. I really want to put one right here, just on that little island over there. Maybe one or two, actually, because it is decently large enough to include multiple. Oop, not that. So I think that more than one over there would look super cute. But I'm not sure, like, what color should I do something that's like the ones over there that are multi-layer and slightly uneven. I think an uneven one would actually make this entire area look a lot more like it's conducive to the land it's on. But... I'm not entirely confident about that because I actually initially had intended for some of these to be uneven, but when I got to them, I just put them at the same level just because I was, I'm not sure if I was being lazy or if I just, ooh, hello, was not quite remembering what I had initially intended for the design. I'm going to take this, but there's a collection of things that I need to get started for projects that I'm not sure if I'm going to do on video or if I'm just going to get them done off camera. But I need things like an iron farm. I'm going to need things like a sorting system, a bigger storage system, and I desperately need to finish this section under the mountain. And I want to get this pipe put in, so I definitely think we'll be doing that next time. But I do aim to get the interior in here at least underway so that we can better do our work and have a better setup system so that we can continue to work here a lot more efficiently. However, I do think that next episode we'll be spending more time over in the summer camp just so that we can get work over there done. But I absolutely love how most of these builds came out, specifically this one. I think the style for it is much cuter than I initially intended, but it feels great, obviously, windows. And I need to put something in here when editing down the replay footage. I noticed that. I was responsible for the creeper walking into the build, so I'm gonna have to get some gates there because that is not safe. There's gonna be some sort of OSHA violation there, but 
We will absolutely get these wrapped up, finished up. Megan looked great. Still gotta move the door. So next time, we will probably be over at the camp working over there. But until then, I'm gonna be planning some stuff over here. Oh, hello. And until then, I will see you guys next time.